of two consecutive perfect squares is 21, that is the largest of the two perfect squares. So, first off, look, we can turn this into an equation to help look at it better and understand it better. So, the difference of two consecutive perfect squares is 21. And just so you know, perfect squares are a number of times itself, and consecutive integers are integers that follow in a sequence. So n, and then n plus 1, or n plus 2, and so on, or if you like it. So first, we're going to expand and simplify this by minimum. So this is our equation to squaring a by We're going to square the square of x plus 1 using this equation, which is the square of a plus b equals a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. So if we plug in our binomial into that, our output is x squared plus 1x plus 1x plus 1 squared. 2ab, meaning that there's, there's going to be two of this. But, before we do anything, we hide these ones and also square this also. We hide the one because the x already has a one, it's just hidden. And when you times one by itself, it's still one. So this is our equation down here. x squared plus x plus x plus one. These are like terms, so we can combine them. And now we end up with x squared plus two x plus one. So now we can go here again and plug in our equation we got from squaring the binomial using this. So now we've got x squared plus 2x plus 1 minus x squared equals 21. And because these are like terms, we can simply move them here. Our like terms are x squared and negative x squared. So when we move them here, we are now able to subtract them. x squared minus x squared is 0. So we just remove that. And now we're left with 2x plus 1 equals 21. So first off, let's transpose this to here. So now we end up with 2x equals 20. Transposing is just taking a number and flipping its sign, and then subtracting or adding it here. 2x equals 20. The reason why we divide is because when a number is behind a variable, that is a... that's multiplication. So now, if we divide both sides by 2, that's the opposite of multiplication. So, let's do that. 2x equals 20, and then we divide both sides by 2. 2 divided by 2 is 1, and when you remember, the 1 in x is hidden, it's, it's there, but it's hidden. So, we cancel those. And then 20 divided by 2 is simple, 20 divided by 2 is 10. So we end up with x equals 10. So, we're going to use this and plug it in our original equation to check. Check it. Alright. x squared minus the square root of x plus 1 squared equals 21. Uh, it's just x, x squared minus the square root of x plus 1 equals 21. Sorry for that. 
Alright. So when you put 10, 10 squared minus 10 plus 1 squared. 10 squared minus the square of 10 plus 1 plus 1. Yeah, then. Alright. So let's just add these parentheses first. Just remove these parentheses and then add these numbers. So now we're, now we're left with 10 squared minus 11 squared equals 21. And now we simply square these both. So 100 minus 121 equals 21. Now you see this, these are two consecutive perfect squares. These are the, the two consecutive perfect squares we just got using 10. So let's just simply subtract these both to check if it's a solution and we end up with the same number, 21 equals 21, so it's a solution. But that's not what we're focusing on right now, we're focusing on these two numbers. So now if we go here, now it's just simple. What is the largest of the two perfect squares? It's 121. Let's uh, find an answer. Thank you.